following is a production of the University of Minnesota. Mining bees of the genus Andrina begin their annual life cycle by digging upward from their brood chamber and emerging from the ground, as you can see in this image. Following this, the females will mate and begin construction of a nest. Mining bees, as their name suggests, are miners. Their nest consists of a main shaft and a series of side tunnels that function as brood chambers. Excavation materials usually accumulate around the nest entrance to form a mound called a tumulus. Tumulus may or may not be visible depending on the stage of construction of the nest and weather events such as wind and water that would tend to disperse the excavations. As you can see from this sequence of images showing an intact tumulus, a partially dispersed tumulus, and nest entrance with no tumulus at all. Each of these nests is active because you can see how the entrance hole has been plugged by the female. These bees can conceal their nest entrances by digging under a stone, under a rock ledge, or under a concrete slab. They can conceal their nest entrances under a clover plant and if soil texture permits, they can burrow through the soil and the soil closes up around them as they disappear into their nest. Pine bark mulch is fluffy enough that large mining bees can wade through it. In this clip, a mining bee is walking on the soil, wading through the pine bark mulch layer on top. When it reaches its nest entrance hole and enters, the mulch settles around the entrance hole, hiding the location of the nest. Mining bees appear adaptable to a number of different soil types as shown by this shaded region of the chart. We observed nests in a number of locations, including lawn border areas. Areas of lawn where the grass plants were sparse, leaving patches of exposed soil. rock gardens or rock mulch areas as long as the soil was accessible between the rocks. Garden beds with later emerging perennials can be an acceptable nest site for mining bees. These bees need a site in the sun to provide warmth, and there appears to be an acceptable time window between their emergence and the plants shading out the area, such that the bees can complete their life cycle. In this case, ferns and hosta serve as examples. Mm -hmm. 